quickly before this video starts please make sure if you're watching my channel you are subscribed hit the subscribe and hit the bell if you hit the bell you'll know when the video goes live if you subscribe that helps the channel massively I'm getting great views for the amount of subscribers please subscribe subscribe and hit the bell back to the video So hello, welcome to another video. So today, talking about calorie counting and why it's so important. So, I am, I am not calorie counting at the moment. But hear me out, you're doing a video on calorie counting, but you're not doing it, David. I eat the same thing every day. Same breakfast, same snacks, same dinner, same tea, same thing every day. I know how many calories that is. So that's why I don't calorie count. If I was to go on a cut, I would calorie count. If I was to go on a maintain, I would calorie count. But at the moment when I'm in essence in a surplus, because that's the main main point here, the main thing you need to keep remembering, calorie surplus, maintenance, deficit. They're the most important things. So why calorie counting, in my opinion, is very, very, very important. Whether you're wanting to get stronger, get bigger, get leaner, get faster, get more endurance you need to fuel those now if you're fueling those with food but you're not fully aware of the calories if you're not fully aware of the calories then you might be under eating you might be over eating the amount of people that have I'd give advice on losing weight or um, losing weight or they want to bulk or the I can't put weight on. How many calories are you eating? Oh, I don't know. Calorie counting. And I, I, you often find that people that calorie count, they, that don't calorie count, sorry, they think they're eating more than they're eating. I found that a lot. Same with me. Days when you, when, when um, ever so often I calorie count my daily food and I'm eating 4,000 plus a day, and you do it and you're actually two and a half, you're like, whoa, but I've eaten loads. So you can eat a lot of high calorie, low density, high calorie, low density stuff, but you can also, I mean, you probably will be eating a lot of low calorie, high density stuff. So if you're eating that, you'll you'll be full, but you won't be eating the calories. There are there are different realms of calorie counting. I know people that weigh everything, even even their protein powder. They will weigh it to make sure they've got the perfect scoop. If you look at the top, top, top bodybuilders that are cutting for like Mr Olympia they will weigh everything literally everything down to the gram down to the minutest gram of everything to make sure they're if you're going to hit this to be the best person you are the best form you are calorie count and I know a lot of people would disagree with this I've known the calorie count so and so and so and so try it honestly when I cut down for my wedding I calorie counted if I was to go on a cut, I would calorie count. If you're bulking, calorie count. Because you'd be very surprised that actually you're not eating enough. So, one of the best apps out there, I find, my fitness pal. I've tried both, my fitness pal and my fitness pal premium. My fitness pal is amazing. The only downside I sometimes find to my fitness pal is you could like I could enter in certain foods. So, unless it's got the tick, I think it's a tick. Or if it's verified by um, my fitness pal. Sometimes it can be way, way out. I've had, I've scanned things in the past, and it's brought up completely different to what it says on the back of the packet. That's the, that's the your friend here. If you're trying to calorie count, look at the back of the packet. Is it the same calories? It'd be per hundred grams, or it could say per serving. And if it says per serving, you might have five servings in this packet. So be very careful because they're very, very clever. I remember those, those. Um, 330 ml bottles of fizzy pop some of them are like two servings and the ingredients and the nutrition facts and the calories are based on two servings so you look at it quickly are oh, 13 calories no actually like this don't have a bottle of water today so i've been drinking this great iron sugar but my point says here per 100 ml 
per 250 mil. All right, so the caliber is per 100 mil per 250 mil. This is a one and a half, 1.25 liter bottle. So if people were reading this, it's there per 250 mil. See, it's very plain to see. Some are very not plain to see. Some can be very, very difficult to work out. And you might just think, oh, it's only 48 calories, but it's actually 48 calories per 250 mil. And there's one, there's 10, 10, five times that. Five times that. So you're looking, wow, math is never my strong point. So you're looking 250 calories in that. Now, calorie counting so vital, so vital when you're when you're trying to back my car's dirty and you're trying to um, maintain a goal if you're trying to cut unless you're boring like me and you eat the same thing every day you're gonna need to know what's what you need to know what calories are but also I know my macros I know what fats I've got I know what proteins I've got I know what and I, I know it because it's the same because for people that are new to the channel I use a company called the gym kitchen you can get them pre-done macronutrient friendly not bland food I use those Tell you on the packet how much it is so me working out calories is very easy if you're going to cook it and yes i'm a chef but sometimes at work when it's time to have food very difficult to actually at this point right i've got 10 minutes to eat i can't start cooking stuff and i could meal prep it but i don't like like warmed up chicken for my meal prep it just doesn't taste the same so i use the meal meal i use um gym kitchen honestly amazing if you're, if you're watching Gym Kitchen sponsorship, I eat, I would eat more of them, but it just comes down to a price point. I eat four a day at the moment, but the macros on them are really friendly. But that therefore means that's the way I, the why I don't have to track them because it tells you what I'm on them. And I know, I know, I need to eat three and a half, four a day. So I know with the food because there, I think the most is, I don't think there's one 500 calories. I think they're all 400. So they are good but they're not calorie dense, which they're not going to be. Veg, rice, pulses and all that kind of stuff. So if you're, if you're watching this and you're trying to reach a goal, and that goal is, say, let's take one for instance. Yes, I did just duck out of the way of a butterfly. Leave me alone. Say you're wanting to cut for something, in, for instance. Take and take, put aside the company's I'm not going to say names because this is going out on YouTube. The companies that you can sign up to to help you lose. I hope that's vague enough to not get in trouble, but not vague enough so you understand what I mean. Um, I don't. You, you don't. I'm going to be careful what I say here. You don't need those to help you lose weight. All right? Calorie count. You look at the best in any field of any sport or any fitness so you're looking powerlifting bodybuilding like crossfit endurance anything like that top people in the field will probably calorie count or they will have like me an understanding of what calories are how much i need to eat to do this how many calories i'm eating on a daily basis like for instance to prove that i'm not chatting I'm just gonna shut my door. To prove I'm not lying here, today, breakfast, vegan mass gainer, extreme protein works. 741 calories, 50 gram of protein, 120 gram of carb. That was my breakfast. And then I don't advocate liquid calories, but if you're like me, you're busy in the morning, having those liquid calories, which are 50 gram of protein, 120 gram of carb, 741 calories is better than nothing dinner dinner today was a gym kitchen meal it was the chicken tikka and i think it's 343 calories for the chicken tikka chicken tikka um lentils cauliflower in like a sauce that's 343 calories i've now got 
creatine and I'll be honest I don't know the calories of that but as I'm about to walk into the gym and do a really big heavy chest session that doesn't really matter I've then got my um, protein for the gym my protein clear away honestly I don't know the calories of that I don't really track that because I'm training I will then get in so when you think 741 343 so I'm about a thousand calories 1100 calories so I'm really behind on calories today but then prior to filming this video the day before this that I'm filming it I filmed the cheat day so my calories are yeah. my calories are, were way high yesterday I don't know exactly how many because I've not filmed this then two days prior to that I filmed the video that's coming out in a couple of weeks um very high calories and the day before that I filmed the pop tart challenge which is already out very high calories so today I'm not for I'm not hungry because I'm not going to be I've eaten thousands and thousands of calories over what I need over the last couple of days from the knowing that from calorie tracking and calorie tracking's got so much easier these last few weeks because any business that has 250 employees they have to now put the calories on there if that if I'd have had that when I was cutting for my wedding seven years ago six and a half seven years ago that would have been amazing because I didn't want to go out because I was on this calorie deficit I was in I was at the bottom level rung of the calorie deficit I was never going to eat any less so knowing the calories would have been amazing because there's no worse than like going out say for a Toby Carvey and having to try and work out the calories unless you're going to be and I know people that have taken a pair of scales with them and weighed everything it's all about your goal if you want to reach that goal what are you prepared to do to get that goal are you prepared to embarrass be embarrassed because you're weighing stuff are you prepared to weigh everything I am granted not now but if I was going to cut and I'd set my goal for 12 weeks I wanted to be this way I would weigh everything everything because I'm not bothered I don't care so if you're not calorie tracking and you're wanting to reach a goal I'm not saying do it forever do it for a day track your calories don't lie because you're only cheating yourself see actually how many you're eating find out how many you should be eating based on your height and your all that kind of stuff so if you're eating three track your normal daily diet are you near there? I'm pretty sure you won't be there there. There will be some that will be massively over. If you're eating clean, I hate that phrase, but if you're eating well, macronutrient friendly food, I'm pretty sure you will be under what your calories need. And if you're going for strength or you're going for endurance or you're going for cutting, calorie tracking is very important for strength to make sure you're fueled for the session. If you're cutting, making sure you're eating the right things to keep you fuller so you're not snacking on crap. That's why the protein shake in the morning is so good. Because it's, it's a pint. I literally, it literally fills a pint glass. And if it fills, it fills a pint glass, but I'm full till dinner. I'm not snacking. I'm not eating crap. So yeah, I think calorie, calorie counting, and I know people will disagree with this, but I think calorie counting, download my fitness pal. It's free. The normal version is perfectly adequate for normal people to track their food. Download it track your food if you don't even want to weigh it get like cups the cup sizes for like baking one cup of rice half a cup of chicken a cup of broccoli you can just enter that into the my fitness pal you can scan I'm, this sounds like i'm sponsored or by my fitness pal i'm not i just like the app you can scan the food 95 percent of the time it'll bring it up track your calories or be really boring like I am and eat something the same every day. Like such in a routine, everything is the same every day. And then you get to look like me. I come and subscribe. Go down on my fitness pal. Give it a try. And if you disagree with this, put a comment. Let's talk. We've got a community tab now, so we can we can converse, we can convalesce. But I think calorie counting is very important and it's if you're if you're serious about lifting or serious about your goal or your fitness, just eating any random food and hoping that you've eaten enough, hit protein, hit carbs, it's very difficult. My fitness pal is amazing. Like, comment, subscribe, check out my shop, sign up to the merchandise. The at the time of filming this, the prices that are on Instagram 
are different to what they are on the website. They're cheaper on the website. For some unknown reason, in fa Facebook's let me do it like that. Instagram's taking time to acknowledge the website because I'm not selling through Instagram. There's a link to go to the website. So that's why it's difficult. They need to update Instagram. If you update Instagram, the prices will drop. Go and check out my shop. Subscribe. Calorie count in a bit.